The final orchestration tool we want to examine is called SaltStack. SaltStack is built on the Python programming language and also has a Python interface. Although interestingly, most of the instructions pushed out by the server are actually formatted in YAML, the same language that we looked at that's used by Ansible. The architecture is similar to other tools that we've examined, except of course, SaltStack has its own terminology to describe the components. The main Salt Stack server is called the Salt Master. This is the main hub where configuration takes place and the point from which instructions and configurations are pushed out. These are pushed out to what are called minions. These are actually an optional part of the architecture and they are essentially agents installed on the managed devices. These minions are used to receive and execute commands, and also to report information about the node back to the Salt Master. Salt Stack also has a built-in mechanism for determining information about the systems where the minions are located. These pieces of information are referred to as grains, in other words, little grains of information about a node. This information includes network information, the operating system, hardware details, and so on. So in short, grains report data about the minions back to the salt master. This information is fairly static, so this is not a real-time reporting mechanism. Then there's a structure called a pillar, which does the opposite. Pillars store data that a minion can retrieve from the master. These contain sensitive information that is specific to a particular minion. So pillars are a tree-like database structure that store highly sensitive data, such as cryptographic keys and passwords. Pillars can be assigned to specific minions so that no other minions have access to this confidential data. Then we have a large data structure called the salt mine. This captures arbitrary data from all of the minions, which is stored in the salt mine on the salt master. This information is also made available to all of the other minions. As opposed to the grains we mentioned earlier, which have very static information, the salt mine data is much more up to date. So you can see that all four of the orchestration tools that we've mentioned are fairly similar, especially in the overall goal of the tools. The goal is to lighten our administrative load and to make monotonous or often repeated tasks much easier for us. Although the function and goal of each is essentially the same, you'll want to consider whether you want an agent-based system or an agentless system in your own environment. And you'll also maybe want to give some consideration to any programming languages with which you're already familiar.